On the last episode of Godzilla's Craptastic Adventures, our heroes went out on a rescue mission. And it failed. Horribly. I mean, come on, man. Like, you can't just save, like, six people. It's, it's not that hard. I don't like weaklings in my family, male Muto. Disappoint me like this again, and I will kill you. <laughs> I... I... We gave you a chance, male Muto, to change. To be like me and Mothra and Godzilla Jr. and all of us. You were working under knife head this, this whole time? I'm disappointed in you, Mel Muto. I wanted to be your friend. But not now that you've done this, my, my dad is definitely going to kick your ass. If he gets here in time, that is. Seriously, wasn't he supposed to be here already? <laughs> to be honest, I really don't know. What was our plan again? Ugh, I don't know if I should feel sorry for him or angry at him. Uh, I'm sorry, mates. I was just... <laughs> I was just afraid that if I left the Knifehead family, then he would come after me. We don't want to hear another word out of you, scum. Oh, so you were actually considering leaving my family. Hmm. I'll punish you later. Right now, I gotta deal with the others. On the bright side, your common sense kicked in, thanks to your selfishness. Leave the family and die. Sound familiar, BJ? Ugh. Mechagodzilla, BJ 2.0, come down here and watch Muto. Yes, sir. I live to serve you, and only you, my master. Sir! Huh? Hey, should we have someone to watch Grandpa Gojira? Nah, leave him be. He's too old of a kaiju to be that much of a threat. Uh, my knees? Ugh, can't even use my powers to save them because of this stupid white powder snow stuff all over me. Alrighty. Oh, uh, damn you. Oh, what was that? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of your bones crushing thanks to my subordinate. Wait a sec. Do I even have bones? What do you think, Vice President Grey Duck? Oh, the pain. So much pain. This is where it all ends for you, Coco. Any last words? You will never win. Aw, oh, he still has faith in himself. Time to die! Oh, what have we here? Oh no. Don't tell me that's who I think it is. Huh? What's that guy doing here? Wait, I'm confused. Who was that? Never seen him before? Or even heard of him? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. Uh, you couldn't have come at the worst possible time. Oh. You should know why I'm here, Knifehead. I'm here for my weekly paycheck. Is that for drink it is? Yes. The kaiju of white destruction. Al Kuzon. You're three days early, Al Kuzon. You don't need your money right now. Oh, Knifehead. You should know by now that if you disagree with me on anything, you'll never get to your paralyzing snow that I take so much time making for an old acquaintance of mine like you. You know damn well it doesn't take you much time to make that stuff. Be that as it may, I don't have to make it for you, you know. 
I mean, you have a whole bag full over there. Heh, <laughs> Galbros has not noticed that yet. Strange. A whole bag full? There's barely anything in there. Yet yeah, that little mount is strong enough to kill someone. Go ahead, test it on one of your weak subordinates. Fine, I will! Psst, guys, down here. I'm not working for Knife Hit, I'm working undercover. Here, let me help break you all out of here. Eeny, meeny, miny. Him. Throw that one in the paralyzing snow. Wait, what? Wait, guys, no, wait, you can't do this to me. So long, sucker. No! <laughs> it's over. He's dead. Even though the bag isn't even a quarter full, you have enough of my paralyzing snow to kill an army. So if I don't come back with paralyzing snow for you next time, it shouldn't make much difference, should it? Fine! I'll pay you today. Alkuzan! Why are you working for Knifehead? Mr. Kaiju President, is that you? Long time no see, buddy. I'm not working for him. I'm simply being a businessman. He pays me, and I give him some of my paralyzing snow. Now, Knifehead, I know I may be neutral and I want nothing to do with your petty squabble, but I do not like the fact that you have Coco in your, how do you say, grips. <laughs> what I do with Coco is none of your concern. Here's your pay. Now you can leave. Go on, scram. I believe I have an idea. Sir Knifehead, I do not like the way your subordinate is treating me. Total disrespect. What you say? Do not threaten him, Magic Crow! Oh... He can't threaten me, huh? Yet he goes on and does it anyway. Even more disrespect to me, Knifehead. I do not feel welcome, therefore... I shouldn't have to give you anything. How dare you defy our master! You best give him what he needs, or else we'll make you. Guys, stop it! You're not helping! Oh, I'm pretty sure those idiots are helping. At this rate, I'll give you plenty of paralyzing snow. Um, was that sarcasm? Most definitely not. Oh, so now you're calling us idiots, huh? We'll show you! Uh-oh. Yeah, man, this can't be good at all. We'll show you! CHARGE! Guys, stop it at once! Galbros <laughs> feels as if some of his power has been taken away. Oh. Gamora, Gamora, speak to me, man. Speak to Calibros. It's no use. Gamora's paralyzed. Oh no, man. Oh no. Uh, my belly. Uh. You. Do you realize what you've done? What on earth are you talking about? You wanted my paralyzing snow. I said I'd give it to you. And I gave it to you. Your subordinates, to be more specific. 
Sorry about you all over there. Didn't mean for that to happen. Guess I don't know my own strength. <laughs> you can't be slick, Alcuzan. You know that you tried to save me. At least a little bit. You what? Oops. Found out once again. Tally ho. That's it. The deal is off, Alcuzan! The next time I see you, I will slaughter you! <laughs> you can try, Knifehead. You can try. Sir, we have no one to watch the captives, eh? Ugh, thanks for reminding Galbaros. <laughs> Thank you again, Alcuzan. Curses! How could I let this happen? Ah, you better be lucky I can only use one leg! Get back here, you heathen. Don't worry, guys. I'll get you out of here. Ah, ah. Oh, you'll never free the prisoners, though. Thanks to me guarding the one thing that'll keep the invisible force field up. Thanks for the help, you dumb alligator. Me and my big mouth. I'll say. We're free. I oh, am. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! Mothra, help me create enough wind to blow all this paralyzing snow away. With pleasure. It's working a little, but it's not enough. Don't worry, I have another idea. Sonic Screech! Gotta get up. Oh, fine. Should we help him? Uh, I don't know. <coughs> You're free, Mr. President! Give it up, Knifehead. I'm safe, your army is gone, and you're outnumbered. Your plan has pretty much failed. Don't. Underestimate me! Oh god, not again. Oh. Eh. Let me at him, let me at him. Not so fast. Help! Help! Ah. Oh. Ah. Let go of me! Ah. Now, huh, you stupid butterfly? Let her go! Uh, uh, uh. Master! No, I've heard! Who the hell? What the? You guys, look who I found. Ye! No, I've heard. Your reign of terror is over. When we found y'all, we didn't expect to find a revolution with you. Or no, pretty cool, right? To think I thought you all would stay loyal to me. You really think you can defeat me, Knifehead? Well, we can try. Everyone, charge!